Hello and welcome to another episode of Citadel Guard Adventures. This is Beriathan of the Citadel Guard of Gondor and we are back in Swampfleet, but we are ready now to continue north towards the Dunlanding town of Langaran to look for Tequin, who went missing at the end of the last episode. Uh, don't want to get ahead of myself, but the first time around I found Tequin to be a little bit more trouble than he is worth and uh, I, I I guess I understand what the tips were trying to do with him but I am not a big fan of that kind of character and that kind of storytelling where, where, where you are met with the enthusiastic kid that is uh, always getting into trouble because he's so eager to help and go out adventuring and gets you into trouble but he means so well I, I'm not a big fan of that trope, if I'm being honest with you. What I liked about Tequin is how he was introduced and how he provided us with a tutorial that explained a lot of mechanics of the game while also making you feel empowered and like the big adventurer you are supposed to be. So instead of you learning from somebody else, you are teaching to Tequin. And that provides a great excuse to uh, discuss the basic mechanics of the game and, and teach them to new players without you feeling like you are uh, uh, nobody starting from scratch. You know, that way you, you, you feel like, yeah, you, you, you know what you're doing. So I, I, I really like how they used Techwin to create that tutorial. But afterwards, I think it would have been so much better if Techwin had decided to stay home. Sadly, he didn't. And now, well, we, we gotta look for him. And it's gonna be okay in the end, of course. And... To give him some credit, Tequin is not as annoying as other characters such as he. So I guess at least in that regard, we can give him credit for that. But yeah, I was not a big fan of, of that particular uh, storytelling device. I mean, you might disagree with me, but I would have preferred if Tequin was just a regular child, maybe a little meek if you like, if, if you will, and, and he was uh, kidnapped by the Uruks in the, in the initial attack on episode 1, or maybe on a different attack from the Uruks, and I know that Trop has also been done to the death but at least, personally, I am more forgiving of that one than this one. And once again, it's just personal preference. You know, there's a lot of people out there who would actually uh, cringe, for example, if that was what the Lotter team had done with Tequin instead. And that's all fine. In the end, it's a really small portion of the story, it's not a big deal anyway. And here we are at Langaran. So this also is, you have discovered Langaran, yeah, it's a really cool teaser for new players of what kind of things you can expect from Donland and the Gap of Rohan. And we're going back to this idea of Before the Shadow doing a great job at teasing many things that will come later down the road for the game. Things that, well, we'll get to discuss a little bit more in detail soon, but things like this, teasing Dunland. And uh, this, I think, it's the reason why they decided to include Dunland things here. It does make sense geographically, of course, they are not just doing things for the sake of it, uh, they, there's still a method behind all this, but the, the Lotter team also knows 
they have to tease a lot of these things that the players, new players, will be looking for in a Lord of the Rings adaptation. So, for example, you found the downlandings, and people who have read the books will say, oh, well, uh, this starts setting up the conflict in Rohan, and that would be right. But we will start seeing these other sort of pieces that are also serving that purpose of uh, tying the game as much as possible, these early sections of the game, to the later ones, so that uh, players can have something to look forward to. And I do appreciate that, of course, because when I first started playing the game, when we were doing, when we only had the Shadows of Angmar content and you were traveling all around the area door, for the most part, the areas of Eriador we have in game are areas that are not that touched upon on the books. Things like the Northlands, the Lonelands of Borohel, Evendim. So of course, as a reader, it's still really fun to discover those areas and the storylines within and and seeing Middle Earth come to life. A part of Middle Earth that nobody else had done before, so that that's really cool, but it's also really really cool to have this sort of teases in the game as well and i i will will once again tell you a little bit more about this when we get there but there is a certain moment in the epic that i would have loved to have when i first played the game that was that were those were the kind of teases and the kind of moments that i was looking for as a first player experience and i do enjoy that before the shadow is able to do all that, but it's not gratuitous by any means. Menelder has come to Langaran ahead of you, yeah. Uh, he had plenty of time to get here while I was talking with you, but anyway. With Uruks and Swanfleet, I felt it wisest to begin the search as soon as possible. That said, if he has truly made for the Waitwater, I think Uruks may be the least of his problems. The footing there is unsteady, and like any marshland, the death of the pools may be deceptive. There are creatures in the Waitwater that would love nothing more than to make a supper of anyone who strays too near their domain. The most dangerous of these are the Avank, and we should hunt them as we seek the boy. And I will. We'll get to that eventually, and here we have Talrin, the leader of Langaran. Our envoy to Mosward sent you our way? Good, good. If you are looking for work, you have come to the right place. Our community is a new one, and there's too much to do. Such as... We are all Tavodiad in these lands. Our home of Langaran is only recently settled. We left Brundir, or Dunland as you would know it, mere months ago, and we had to leave much behind in our departure. The nearby communities of Mosworth and the Havid villages have been very generous to us, for which I am grateful, but there is more to be done if we are to safely greet the coming winter. Find Malak and Taylor Gwyniad fishing by the water. They could use your help catching fish to be salted and smoked for the winter. Look for Undek. She is coordinating our tradesfolk and can help you take up a crafting profession such as weaponsmithing or cooking. Head northwest along the path by the water. She'll be with other crafters and the community oven. Eluna here is training many of our new scouts and as much as she may deny it, she could use a helping hand, as we all do from time to time. You seem to be a person of great ability. Uh, well. You seem to be a person of good ability. Oh, come on, what's that about? I, I, I have great ability. You will, come, you, you will learn that shortly. If you're inclined to trips around the wilderness and fight things, I could use your help. Like Talfrin said, I lead a few trainee scouts. I could use an adventurer like yourself to help instruct them. My students and I established a camp to the east. Meet us there. I'll be going back there myself soon. I don't like to leave them alone for too long. Who knows what trouble they'll make for themselves. And we'll get to that eventually, of course. But there are plenty of things for us to do in the village first. So the first thing we're going to do actually will be grabbing a milestone. And we are going to come in here. Oh, it feels so good to finally be able to have our VIP rewards. Can I speak with you a moment? 
Uh, there is some text in this, but this doesn't affect the storyline all that much, so we can skip that safely, I guess. Uh, with this, we will be able to avoid item wear, and more importantly, craft fast. And we are about to get into crafting at long last, so this will be really useful. We are all devoted in these lands. Another amateur angler come to help us shore up our food supplies for the winter. Well met. I'm Marak, and this fella to my side is Taylor. We are in charge of filing up those racks of drying fish you passed by. If you want to help us, catch three small fish off the dock here. You have to do it on the dock here, where we can watch your technique, okay? If you need to learn the basics, talk to this self-professed hobby master next to me. He'll teach you the basics and set you up with a basic fishing rod. I have not seen your kind before. All right, we're gonna train the fishing hobby. We are gonna uh, drag the skill in here. And we need to get a fishing rod, right? Yeah, we got the fishing rod in here, okay. The basics of fishing, we already know. The fishing rod, there we go. So we gotta catch three fish. Simple enough. But this also provides a tutorial for the fishing quest, uh, the fishing hobby. And since there are many different quests involving this hobby in places like Rohan, Gondor, and basically everywhere else, I also like that the game has included the tutorial for a as part of the the story the quest line here in in Land Garden. So that way you have a reason for doing it and when you find the fishing quests in other areas of the game you know what to do. You are being eased into it more naturally than in in the other area or places. Won't you lend me your not bad, not good either, but not bad, especially for a beginner. You have some natural talent. Well, thank you. In, in Minas Tirith, there are not a lot of ponds, and as a citadel guard, I also don't have a lot of time to go fishing. But I'm willing to learn, and we'll get plenty of chances to learn how to fish. And to improve upon it. We already know how to fish, we need to improve upon it. Oh, there is an auction house and a vault in here. Cool, I have forgotten about that. But now we need to get our crafting. As long as the sun shines, you are welcome here. I can teach you about the trades, yes. Speak with me and I'll help you get started on your crafting journey. Ask me about any of the six widely recognized vocations. Then, tell me which vocation you'd like to pursue, and I will direct you to individual profession trainers who will help you craft your first items. Complete the work they set before you, and I'll consider your initiation into the trades complete. So as you see here, you just need to pick up your vocation, complete the quests in there, and you will be set. Now, um, much like the, the fishing quest, this is integrated into the bigger quest chain in Langaran to provide an easier uh, introduction to crafting, we'll say. Uh, once again, being part of the story, you really cannot skip this. And I also like this as well. And this is why I was waiting for this moment before I learned my vocation. But as we have discussed, this leaves us with the inconvenient of not being able to craft anything until we get to Langaran at around level 10. And as you see here, we have traversed about one third of Swampfleet already, and... and we missed all the crafting notes in there, so I hope this decision doesn't come back to bite us, and that we'll have plenty of chances to get all the items we need to complete our apprentice tier, 
because when we cross into Cardland, we'll start doing journeyman craft. So hopefully this will turn out okay in the end. Something else that I wonder, and I don't have the answer for this just yet, but I I will come here and, and see if I can find anything, is how will this quest change when you come here and you have already learned your crafting vocation? Because I guess this quest will have to change and you will get different text, much like with Techwin and the training dummy pack in Mossword. So I'm thinking that does sound like a good idea. Uh, seeing how many of these differences I can pick up and then I will show them to you when I have found a little bit more of them. But for the time being, we are once again going to pick the Historian vocation, much like on Arkenstone. Once again, make all this consistent with the Verathon on Arkenstone. Historians are unique in that they have access to the scholarly arts, allowing them to research ancient lore and use their discoveries to the advantage of their fellows. In addition, a historian has the more practical talents of cultivating land and forging the plates that are so often spoken of in the stories the histories they study. Do you wish to learn this trait? Of course. Here we go. Hear me out, Duvoriad, for I have a tale to tell. If you wish to learn more about farming, find Bruno Ervin in by the fields. He is, by, he is a guest from one of the nearby Hobbit villages and is more familiar with these soils than we are. I am sure he would be happy to teach you. It is not our custom to trust Duvoriad, but perhaps you may be of help to me? Some may argue that we need more farmers and smiths than we do scholars, but you and I are not so short-sighted. Speak to Mellory, our chief scholar. They will help you with the fundamentals of the craft. Even the Uchluth have need of help on occasion. If you wish to know more of weaponsmithing, speak with Aldith. You can find her with several of the other tradesfolk near the Fall Silo, the Tall Silo, in the northern part of Larga Langara. We're gonna grab crafting skills, move them to the side, and there we go. Won't you lend me your aid? Yes, I can teach you the basics of being a weaponsmith. I'll have you make a bronze weapon. It's a simpler material to work with in many ways. I will try to not move too quickly for you, but if I do, speak with me again to ask more pointed questions. Take this crate. Everything you need to make a bronze weapon is inside. Let's begin. Which crate? This crate. Okay. Forge a bronze sword dagger, axe, great sword, or... Throwing axe. All right, so we need to equip our uh, hammer. I think I already have a bronze sword. Yeah. But there is really nothing else I can get with this that will be useful. So yeah, let's get a sword. Aldith takes the weapon and strikes a nearby training dummy with fierce attacks. The weapon feels good in my hand. The balance is acceptable. The weapon remains largely intact despite some damage to the edge. Overall, well done. I hope you continue to cultivate your skills. You have the makings of a master. Of a master weapons. Well, thank you. What about Bruno here? Hello there. Hello. So you'd like to learn to become a farmer. That's wonderful. Few things in life are as satisfying as nurturing a little seed into a fully grown vegetable and then eating said vegetable. I've been working the land here in Swamplet since my twin years, so you're in good hands. If I go too fast or you need help at any point, you can ask me questions about farming and I will do my best to provide you with clear direction. The first and most important step is having the proper ingredients. I set aside a few for new farmers like yourself. 
take this crate and let us begin. Oh, all right, we'll go with the crate again. Plant a yellow onion field. We need the tools, of course. Yellow onion field. Activate the track crop skill. Awesome! Level 13, no forced march. What a pity. And now we gotta go to the workbench and get a yellow onion. We just got a class trade point. Good, but I I was hoping for more. You have picked a yellow onion. Alright, destination Brayland. Sure. It is technically time to go to Bree, but we are not going to Bree, of course. Not yet, at any rate. Lovely day, isn't it? Let me see what you grew. He snips at the onion, peels back the outermost layer, and takes a large bite. This is so delicious, it brings tears to my eyes. This joke wasn't worth how unpleasant I feel right now. <laughs> Nonetheless, I think that you have done very, very well, Briathan. I approve and declare you a novice farmer. Thank you, you are so much more gentle than the lady back there at the forge. That's the kind of uh, positive enforcement that it's really more helpful than the criticism. But anyway, let's see if we can now finish our introduction to crafting. What do we have here? A turtle that don't really need to fight. Not yet, at least. Who knows if these dungeon things have anything against turtles. Ah, okay. Here we have Melody. My bad. Won't you lend me your aid? If you're looking for the Master Smith, they're over. Oh. You're here to speak with me. Oh, that's exciting. I'm not exactly one of the most popular profession ships. Well, I am pleased to meet you and looking forward to helping you get started. Here, take this crate full of materials. I'll walk you through how to use what's inside. No biggie, I already have it. Scroll of Minor Scholar Lord. All right. So once again, we're going to grab our tooling here. Please stop. All right, we're gonna. All right, there we go. You're all devoted in these lands. Let me see what you have done. She looks over the scroll. Nicely done. I can find no fault with the information that you have scribed on this page. This is the first step towards what I hope will be a lifelong dedication of yours. Most likely, yeah. That has completed the introduction to crafting. So I guess that means we can not now go look for Luna at the Blood Hollow trees. But I, I, I can't help but... Oh, come on. I really want to know. Masters. Ah, oh, level 14. We are really close. And first aid at level 16. That's also going to be really, really cool. Level 14. Safeguard. Awesome. This also brings back memories. You remember every time you leveled up when you had to actually go back to the trainer and train your skills? <laughs> the good old days, right? Anyway, what else do we have in here? Another trade point. Let us go with Spear Gambit initial damage. I think we are once again hitting pretty hard right now. 
but we can hit even harder for the tougher enemies we'll be facing later down the road. We are not doing the treasure search. Not today, at least. I mean, I would do that maybe on Arkenstone, where I have most of my stuff. But right now, I, I, I don't see a lot of incentive in doing that on Landerval. Knowing my luck, I would get a lot of cool rewards in here and then I will be sorry because I cannot use them on the characters I play the most. So no, I'm, if I do the the event, I'll do it on, on Arkenstone actually. Hope you don't mind. Now we're getting close to our destination. Where are you guys? Should be somewhere around here. Almost there. There we go. Nice of you to finally arrive. What took you so long? Couple things actually, but I'm here now. Have you had to look after three teenagers in the wilderness for a week straight? <laughs> oh, that'll exhaust anyone. I have three cadets, Margaret, Derin, and Murik. They're great pupils with lots of, lots of potential. While I am their teacher, they're old enough to take on responsibilities of their own. I would like for you to help each of them with a task they are working on. I think it would be helpful for them to play the teacher for once. Derin is this clever fellow right next to me. Margaret is over by Blood Hollow proper. Last I saw, she was taking a little break after filling a few of the beasts. Murik is downhill by the river. Huh? What will I be doing? I have had a long week. Am I gonna up? Have you had to look after three children in the wilderness for a week straight? That'll exhaust anyone. <laughs> Alright, sure. Go on and take a break. Hello. My name is My name is Erin, a warrior scout in training. My specialty lies in the study of plants, especially those with peculiar properties. I have a slightly morbid request to make of you. The works to the east have um, piled the bones of their victims in a rather dramatic fashion. You'll know that some of these bone piles have vines with purple flowers growing from them. Could you pluck some for me? Oh, and you should know. I asked Margaret to gather some and she made the incredible discovery that this plant is poisonous to the touch. Perhaps uh, we're gloves. Already am. Don't you worry. Already am. <laughs> All right. Here we have Margaret. Awesome. Take down a few works, and at least one of the really big ones. <laughs> Try not to get yourself killed. Old man Talfrin said that we should be stewards of the land, both as a sign of respect to the wildlife of this place, as well for the sake of our neighbors. The works in this area will endanger that safety as they attack all living beings on sight, even without any hunger. Perhaps facing them will be the best way for me to contribute. But Eluna said we should give your work to do. I don't understand what her goal is in asking us to do that, but I suppose I could take a break. Why don't you go thin the pack for me? Take down a few works and at least one of the big ones. Try not to get yourself killed. I'll take care of every work you can handle. Yeah, don't worry, I can handle them all. You'll see. Don't you worry about me. I'll be okay. But here we also have Okay, we can we can pick a couple of things in here on our way to the river. You have discovered blood hollow. Awesome.
You did. Amnity of the works. All right. Man of the fourth age. Right. All right. I can also do that. So fast. You don't stand a chance. Now the question is, what do you need here at the river? And more importantly, I should be tracking artifacts. Not crops. My task is to find a reliable source of water for our scouting party. You must be the adventurer that Instructor Luna told me about. Yes, I know I was to report back already, but I have yet to complete my work. My task is to find a reliable source of water for our scouting party. With such a great river near us, I thought this would be simple. The presence of blood hole nearby complicates things. I'm concerned that its proximity may contaminate the water somehow. I'm working on a concoction that they taught me to make. When added to water, it can help determine if it if it is safe to drink or not. Could you collect samples of water for me? The first sample should be from the river bank near Blood Hollow. The second sample should be from farther down river from Blood Hollow. The third sample should be from farther still down river from Blood Hollow. You get the idea. Yeah, simple enough. So we're gonna pick this one. This other one. And... It seems I passed it. It seems that was <laughs> sample number three. Is that right? Yeah. Seems so. We are all devoted out in these lands. What timing? I just finished making the concoction. Munich arranges the samples of water you collected into three separate basins of water. He then hands you three volts of a curious substance. Add one lump of the arm, paste to each basin. Uh, let us observe the results. Alright. Number one. The paste disperses into the water, rendering it a shade of brown that is best not described in further detail. Okay. Yeah, I agree. The paste disperses lightly, making the water a little cloudy. The concoction sinks to the bottom of the water without dispersing at all. Perhaps when Margaret's bloody work is complete, the waters around Blood Hollow will become more palatable. Clearly, the soil of Blood Hollow has some effect on the water. For now, I will be sure to collect water from further down river to make sure it is fit for myself and my comrades. Perhaps when Margaret's bloody work is complete, the waters of around Blood Hollow will become more palatable. I will return to our encampment shortly. Thank you for your aid. Yeah, I just need to defeat a couple more works. And well, collect uh, the nightshade anyway. But this one was uh, simple enough. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but there should be a treasure cache around this place somewhere. Makes sense. Maybe we can take a look. Go. Is 
Still plenty of nightshade to find. So great. Now we have a wound. Yeah, we gotta keep an eye open for that. Or cash, it seems. Or I suck at finding them, which is more likely. I guess. Maybe it'd be fun to fight alongside you sometime. Or against you. In a friendly way, of course. I watched the way you fought. Your skills are impressive. I might have even learned a technique or two. Oh, right. That must be why Luna wanted me to enlist your aid. That's sneaky. In any case, nice work out there. Maybe it'd, it'd be fun to fight alongside you sometime or against you. In a friendly way, of course. Friendly, yeah. Yeah, if it's a friendly way, I, I don't mind. And here... Though born of death, perhaps these flowers could do much for the living. Ah yes, the flowers I asked for. That it indicates a mortar for depositing the flowers. You must be curious what I plan to do with this. Perhaps I'll concoct some vile poison with which to threaten our new neighbors. Don't be silly. Many poisonous plants have incredible medicinal properties if ingested in the correct quantities. Though born of death, perhaps these flowers could do much for the living. Hmm? Will I ask you to ingest any? And deprive Margaret the opportunity to prove she's one of the toughest warriors in our people's storied history? I could never do that to such a dear friend. <laughs> sure, well, whatever you want. I grow concerned at her unexplained absence. Beriathan, I take it you finished the task Luna set before you? Speaking of our dear instructor, have you seen her at all as you've been aided us? She should have long since returned to us by now. She may be an unconventional teacher, but she is an excellent scout warrior. I grow concerned at her unexplained absence. What do you mean? Oh, I am worrying over nothing, but my instincts tell me something is wrong. Luna says she was going to investigate something to the northwest of here. I'm going to rally the others and look for her. We would appreciate your continued assistance if you're inclined to lend it. I hope I am worrying over nothing, but my instincts tell me something is wrong. All right, to the northwest. Right back where we came from. You mean this hill? Maybe? We're almost there, once again. Ready to get Force March. We would be there already. Okay, what do we have here? We noticed some concerning tracks on our way here. Morgan and Murik are following up on them down below. I'm staying up here to keep a lookout. I have a bad feeling about this adventurer. We'd best keep our wits about us. Alright, so I guess 
I need to talk to Margaret and Murik for this too as well. I spied two particularly tough warriors among the chaff. Take down either one and it'll disrupt their whole force. Go fight in my stead. They'll find Nurik unless you give them someone else to worry about. Adventurer, you always seem to find me just after the fun ends. She motions to the unconscious Zanlendings at her feet. Oh, I see them now. Drag loose. This louts were searching for Luna. Murik and I agreed to a simple plan. He searches for Eluna while I distract the search party by clobbering them. I took out a few, but these warriors are more fearsome than the beasts of Blood Hollow. She covers what is clearly a serious wound. It's nothing, Beryathan. A little pressure on one of dead insults will keep me with the living. Go fight in my stead. They'll find Munich unless you give them someone else to worry about. Yeah, I can do that as well. Simple enough. So... <laughs> Except for the fact... Oh, they are applying that nasty bleed again. And they are fighting from range. Well, two, two can play the bleed game, you'll see. that, I also have some healing at my disposal. Should be okay. Alright. That was it. For Margaret, at least. The folks back in Brunder must be furious with us if they're sending scout warriors. Be off with you! Remind me to thank Darren the next time I see him. This self works wonders. Also remind me to slap him in the face because this self stinks worse than a sickle fly. Margaret appears to be in better condition than when you last spoke. <laughs> yeah, I, I like her a lot. Darren went ahead to draw the bulk of them away. But we need you to split their forces even further. Good news. While you were out being a menace, Murik found his way over to me. Eluna is okay, but she's injured. We have to get her help soon. But the Drake loot are blocking the only path she can manage. Darren went ahead to draw the bulk of them away, but we need you to split their forces even further. Margaret pulls a horn from one of her backs and pushes into your hands. Find a spot away from the road and blow this horn. It's of Drake look mate. It should create enough an opportunity for us to limp back to Langaran. So it's over here-ish, I guess. Almost there. A good place to blow the summoning horn. In here. Awesome. Alright, let's do it. The track loot warrior is drawn to your location. And as I was saying, to complete the bleed game. I must warn the others. They're over here. Alright, that was one. It seems we gotta do another one. There we go. Direct loot warriors have been drawn away from Eluna's path. Return to Langanan. Alright. Langanan already, that's cool. Okay. 
I could use the milestone and everything, but okay. We we are close enough. Maybe we find something good along the way, who knows? did you do? Everything all right? Yes. Hello there. What an eventful day we have all had. Do you regret, regret agreeing to help me out? I owe you a lot. Both for looking after my students and helping save me. Why don't we say I owe you a dinner? Once I heal up from my injuries and learn to cook, I'll make something fancy. Unless you like boiled things. I am really good at boiled things. That sounds like a breakfast, more of a breakfast for me, but whatever you want to do will be okay. May the spirits be with you. I'm still trying to sort out why the Dry Gluth are here. When we left to settle Langan and it was certainly a source of tension, but Talfrin secured the promise we'd be left alone. Let me look into this. Don't worry, I promise I'll keep safe. Until I have news, could you help some folks around town? In what? Ever since we got back, Munich and Dering have been rather withdrawn. Could you check on them for me? No, no, I'm not worried about them or anything. I simply, uh, want to make sure they will be ready for whatever tasks lies ahead. Sure, whatever you say. I'll check in on them. Ah, Berethan, if you came to try my famous bread, I'm afraid you arrived too early. I'm still mixing the dough, as you can see. You know, making tinctures and poultices is not so different from baking. The right ingredients in the right proportions, treated with just the right touch, will yield something marvelous. I even use the same mixing bowl for both tasks. <laughs> that was a joke. <laughs> that was a funny joke. <laughs> May the spirits be with you. As you know, there's a risk we may not have enough food to last winter. There's a healthy population of Avanka out in the Waitwater. I'm sure if cooked properly, they might taste good. How are your butchering skills? We'll find out soon enough, I guess. Welcome, traveler. I'd love to get my hands on some Avanka eggs, but I'm better at fighting people than I am beasts. It's a hip thing, bending is hard on me. There's a big population of Avanka out in the Waitwater. Hmm, how many? Well, they are big eggs, so six. All right. Marak and Taylo. Oh, those are the fishing guys. Let me talk to them. And here we also have Nurika as well. That's good. Hi. Come to check on me? That's kind of you. I needed to get my mind off things, so I thought I'd come fish with my grandfather. I'll admit that recent events have unsettled me. I never thought I would have to apply my training skills to fighting my own people. As much as I appreciate your concern, I'd like to be alone for a while. Sure, I can do that. Don't worry. Won't you lend me your aid? I heard you and the scouts ran into some trouble. Tell me about it. You summarize your encounter with Ardun and her people. Ardun, eh? That's a shame, though I can't say I'm too surprised. Always a passionate one, that kid. Tragic to see her dedication to her people twisted like this. This must be hard for Luna. They were close before we left Brundir, did you know? Oh yes, very close. Mara keeps a sigh and continues speaking, though not to you or seemingly anyone in particular. Part of why I wanted to help establish this place, our Langaran, was the hope to see our young people grow up away from the tragedy our homeland is experiencing now. I guess it followed us here. Maybe it was a fool's hope all along. Silence stretches until Taylor quietly beckons you over. 
Won't you lend me your aid? Well now, friend, as you can see from the full racks of fish back there, Marag and I have been busy. We didn't have enough salt for our most recent catches, so they've just been air drying. The good folks from Mossworth dropped off some salt for us, but we haven't had a chance to apply it to the fish. Could you do that for us? The five racks closest to us are the ones that need it. And, uh, he leans in to whisper. Don't worry about the old man. I'll keep him company. That's so thoughtful of you. So I guess in the meantime, I can take care of the fishing racks. Sure. That was it, I guess. I hope these dark days will soon be behind us. Hold on. Thanks, and sorry about earlier. This has been a tough time for me. For all of us. You've already done so much for us, but if you're staying around longer, it'd mean a lot to me if you could keep looking after Eluin and her students. They're good ones. Yeah, I can do that. I will continue to do that for a little bit longer at least. With you. They have thrown themselves into their hobbies. Good. It's better than having to watch them sold. Me? Do I have something to take my mind off this? Are you telling me I should get a hobby? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that that sounds like a lovely idea. I can't imagine what kind of hobby you will be into, but that would be a great idea, nonetheless. And in order to continue advancing this quest, we need to go to the Void Water and fight some Avang. However, since we also need to do that for the Epic, I think it would be best if we leave all these for the next episode. So this means this is the end of today's episode. Thank you so much for watching once again. I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you on the next one. Until then, my friends, stay safe, take care, good luck to you all. And I will see you later.